Derek and Nessa just got some really bad news. It looks like they'll have to spend their entire remaining budget on rebuilding the dangerous add-on and moving the main floor bathroom to the basement. Now they have to meet with designer Lisa, take a look at her plans, and then break the news that due to unexpected costs, they have to put all design plans on hold. Since the add-on has to come down and the bathroom has to go in the basement, we've pretty much got no money left for the rest of the house. It was a long day of house stuff yeah. today, and it's a lot more intense than you expect it to be when you buy a house. Well, she's done the plans anyway, so we might as well look at them. I mean, maybe we can do them in the future, so I guess it's not a complete waste. So we're going to start with the main floor and kind of work our way back and up. Okay, okay cool. Okay, smart. So ready? Oh, cool. Oh, what, look what you did oh, here. Nice. It's so good. When you do design plan, I really like to start with kind of a storyboard. Pictures, textures, colors, so it's a big representation of the theme and the idea, the really mood you want to go for in the space. I went with a kind of like East Coast meets West Coast. I really tried to do kind of a New York meets LA kind of vibe. So what I was thinking was very, very, you know, LA or beachy yeah. furniture lines, but then all of your accessories, all of your colorings would be extremely the New York inspiration, so colorful, a lot of glimmer. So it's a little bit of, I think, kind of matches both of you guys. Yeah. She got it exactly right on. It's the perfect combination of both Derek and I styles. Okay, next is the dining room. Now the big inspiration for here is, again, the New York inspiration, a really big piece of artwork. It would actually be something that we do ourselves. Lisa's idea for us to paint our own artwork is so creative. Well, I would teach you how to do literally like a paint by numbers kind of thing. Awesome. Such a great way to make the space personalized. So and then I gave you some inspiration for um, the table. Um, I'm very excited about taking old furniture and then making them modern. Lisa's really the perfect person for us because she's coming up with all these ideas on how we can reuse stuff and use stuff that we already have. It's like taking a tabletop from one thing, yeah. switching it up with you know the legs from something else that we find. So I'm getting really into it, but in the back of my mind I know we've spent our money. Okay, ready to move upstairs? Yay! Now the bathroom I think is going to be probably one of the most amazing rooms in the house. Very like iridescent, very shiny, very luxury. I was thinking, you know, you're young and married, you might want a little jacuzzi tub. <laughs> so yeah. something with a lot of jets. Thanks. A jacuzzi tub? Yeah, that would be great. I don't know if we can afford a tub, let alone a jacuzzi tub. Okay, so now for your master bedroom. I was thinking, first thing is the window. Um, it's just so perfect to put a little um, comfy seating area as well as I really want to give you guys on the foot of the bed a fireplace and then a nice big chaise to read. Yes, that's great. Yeah. Well, this is really great. This, I really all this stuff like is it. nice. What's, the, uh, what's all this going to cost? <laughs> well, about basically at 15. 15 yeah. Now we're going to have to tell her that we don't have the money to go forward with any of this yet. We just did a walkthrough with Vincenzo and this mud room. It's okay. not actually uh, safe at all. No. Oh. And that's going to cost like 10,000 bucks. Oh. He's going to be able to put in a, uh, a bathroom in the basement okay. and now... And that's going to be 5,000 bucks. There's just got to be a way to work this out. We've got to be able to save some money on this add-on or on the basement. We think that maybe Vinny might come up with some sort of I don't know, alternative plan. I mean, he's done so well for us already. After seeing Lisa's plans, like, I'm not really looking forward to going back to the house in the state that it's in right now. I mean, it was great to see what the house can look like. It just sucks that it might not be able to look like that. Next time on Marriage Under Construction. We're gonna go shopping. Oh, I'm so excited. Check out this chair. It looks like something that my grandma would have in her house. It looks like it should be in a daycare. I'm not really sure where Lisa's going with this.